I used to build model aircraft, uh, the usual that kids did with rubber bands and stuff like this. And I thought, well, everybody else was, most of my friends, they were in the service, so I decided I'd join it. When I was 18, I just, I, want, I was going to join up and join the Air Force. My mother talked me out of it, said, no, you can't go, you're too young. So I waited till I was 19. I joined up in Montreal. We we had the idea, but we didn't know until the uh, oh, four o'clock in the morning on D Day on June the sixth, when we were up doing a briefing, eh, on what was to happen. Then we knew that we knew something was coming up. After you've gone through into service flying school, eh, and you're into the graduation end of it, you've graduated, say, before you get shipped out. You have the idea that yes, hey, we got something going here. That we're we're doing something for a definite reason, because they knew that we knew that they had to be cleaned out. Eh, the German uh, had taken over the continent, and they were going to be moved out one way or the other. And so, this is it.